today we're gonna make lemon meringue pie and we're gonna use our graham crumbs in it. Sounds fabulous, it's one of my favorites. So what I'm gonna get you to do today is I'm gonna get you to make the filling. Now we're making our lemon okay. meringue filling from scratch. So we're gonna use one cup of orange juice and you wanna make sure you're using pulp free so you can throw that in the pot. Okay. And I am going to turn you on to about medium. Okay. All right. So to the one cup of orange juice, yep. you're gonna add a half a cup of granulated sugar. Okay. So you're just gonna whisk that until the sugar dissolves. Okay. And I am gonna zest a lemon for you and then give you the juice for one lemon. All right. And you always wanna zest a lemon first before you slice it. It makes it a little bit easier. Yep. And one thing when you're zesting a lemon, you never wanna use the pith, which is the white part of the lemon. Right. So you just wanna make sure you're coming down to that layer. And if your lemons are a little bit hard, a trick is always to throw them in the microwave for about 10 seconds and warm them up. Okay. And it'll help bring all of the juice, the oils to the skin. Oh, nice. And it'll soften up the lemon on the inside. Okay, and we're just gonna dissolve that sugar. So once that sugar's dissolved, then we're gonna add one cup of um, cream. And we're using 10% cream today. Okay. And I can put that in now? Uh, we're gonna add the lemon zest first. Oh, right. And all your sugar dissolved. Yep. I'm gonna put this in for you. It seems like a lot of lemon, but well, this is a lemon Well, we're making lemon meringue pie. pie. We want so that flavor to come through. And we're using natural flavors. We're not using artificial, so. Right. Okay. And I'm just gonna do this in my hand, just to make sure that there's no seeds going into like your that pot. That one that just popped in there. Yeah, it's right sitting right on my hand right now. You could, um, you could do you this could do in a this bowl ahead of time, you betcha, yeah. yeah. Mm. You smell that lemon, mm. eh? And if you wanted to do, we're doing a shallow lemon meringue pie today. If you wanted to do a deep dish lemon meringue pie, you would just double this filling recipe. Oh, okay. So once the sugar is dissolved, then you're gonna add the cream to that mixture. Okay. And you're just gonna stir this until it's combined. And if you were dairy free and you needed something dairy free, you could use um, a soy beverage. It would work as well, but to make sure you're not buying a light soy beverage, make sure you're buying as, as full fat as possible. Okay. okay? Okay. So once it's combined, then yep. what you're gonna do is you're gonna add your quarter cup of cornstarch, and yep. you're just gonna continue to mix this on the stove until it starts to thicken, and it is gonna take about 10 minutes. Okay. Okay? And we are on medium heat still. Okay, in she goes. Okay, and while you're doing that, I'm going to prepare our base for our pie. Perfect. So we're going to make our pie crust, and we have our nine inch pie crust pan that we're gonna use, yep. okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix the graham crumbs. We're gonna use one and a half cups graham crumbs, and we're gonna use a quarter cup granulated sugar, okay. and we're gonna use um, six tablespoons of margarine. All right. Mmm, this smells great. Now there's no shortcuts to this right here, is there? No, there isn't. But the nice thing about that is you can use this for a parfait afterwards. Wow. You can make this filling ahead of time and use it because the only thing we're doing is um, we're pre-par-baking the crust. Yep. So we're gonna put the crust in the pan and we're gonna bake it for 10 minutes. The filling goes in and it's already done. And if you wanted to do a lemon meringue, then you could put the meringue on at a later time and put it in the oven and it only takes 10 minutes. Okay? So once the filling's done, it can be done ahead of time and set aside. Okay. So for the crust, you're just gonna bring it together. And it'll still have pea-sized crumbs in it. 
We're gonna flatten that into the dish anyway, yep. so that's fine. Okay. And you want to just press it into the side of the dish and you want it to come up the sides as well. And that way your meringue has something to stick to. So we're just going to stick our crust in the oven okay. and we're just going to bake it off for 10 minutes because our filling is already cooked so we don't need to cook the filling in the... Right. Okay? Yep. Okay. So I noticed you're starting to thicken there. Yep. Looks good. So we're going to pull that off the heat now and okay. we're going to let it cool. Okay. And then we're going to pipe, we're going to pour it into our pie shell. Now while it's cooling, the one thing we want to do is let it cool in the pan for a bit and then put it in a bowl and cover it with saran wrap right even with the layer of filling. That way we don't get a skin on the top of the filling. Okay. okay? So we put it on the back burner for now and we let that cool. So for our lemon meringue pie, our crust is cooled. Yep. Okay, and we're gonna, and our custard is in the fridge and it's nice and cool, so we're gonna make our uh, lemon meringue topping. Perfect. So our egg whites. Yep. So we need four egg whites, so we're gonna separate our eggs. Okay. So we're gonna put our four egg whites in the bowl. Yep. And we're just gonna bring it to soft heat, which is about three to five minutes. Okay. Depends on the mixer. So once you get to soft pea, yeah. what you're going to do is you're going to add a quarter cup of sugar and you're just going to bring it to stiff pea. Okay. Okay. So while we're waiting for this, you can grab our custard, our lemon, our lemon filling yeah. out of the fridge and put it in our pie. Okay. We've got our filling. So have we reached our stiff peaks yet? Yeah, we're almost at stiff peak. Okay. So when you're at stiff peak, when you take your, it should stand up. Oh yeah, okay. Okay? Yep. So we're at stiff peak. Now I noticed that the lemon filling is not really, really yellow. It's got a mild yellow. Yeah. Because of the, obviously because of the... Because it's natural. If you wanted to add a natural yellow food coloring right. or... Because an... typically the ones you buy in a store are like bright They're, yellow. They have lots of artificial food coloring Okay, in them. so this is a better alternative. Definitely. Okay. So there's a couple different ways we can put our meringue on. We can just dollop it on, which we're going to do today. Yeah. Or you could use a piping bag. Okay. Okay. So you can go ahead and dollop it all around. Now... Okay, am I too big there? No, you're good. Just, just make sure that you have enough to go around. Well, this is my first time making lemon meringue pie, so I don't know how much is enough. Okay, and you want to get... come all the way to the crust. Okay, then we're just going to throw it in the oven. Put it in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes at 350 degrees, just until it's nice and golden brown on the top. Okay. This looks great. I mean, I love the way the peaks have nicely browned. Mm -hmm. And this is nice because it's a short bake in the oven. It only takes about 10 minutes. Good. Well, do we have to let this cool as well? We should let it set up a little bit, but if you need to dig in, I'm sure we could get away with it. Mm, let's do it. 